Hello friends and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, we will be implementing the new Gemini AI into our Flutterflow apps. Alright, so right here I have a very simple home page with an app bar and a text view where the user will be able to input their prompt which they want to ask to Gemini AI. And I also have this button to submit their prompt to the Gemini AI and I have this text which will contain the output of the AI. All right, so this is a very simple app in Flutterflow. And now we will be tr going to implement the Gemini AI into our Flutterflow app. This is the newest and improved method as Flutterflow has recently made some integrations which makes our implementation of Gemini AI into our Flutterflow apps extremely, extremely easy. All right, so let's just open a new tab and in the new tab, you can search for Gemini AI API. So just search for that. I'll also be putting this link in the description below. So you can go under this link. I'll be putting it in the description below. Yep, this page. Then we can click on this to get the API key for our Gemini AI. So you should be brought to this dashboard after you have signed in with your Google account and you can click on this get API key and we can create an API key. You can just select this generative language client as your cloud project and then just create an API key in the existing project. So just wait for the API key to load. So now it's loaded. We can just copy the API key and then we can go back to our Flutterflow app. Now, we can just go to our settings on this left-hand side bar over here and we can scroll all the way down. Under integrations, we can see that there's this new Gemini mode over here. So we can just enable Gemini. And now we can just paste in our API key. And now that is all that we have to do to integrate Gemini AI into our Flutterflow apps. And now we can start using the AI. So now let's start adding some AI functions to our app. So we can click on our button and inside the actions flow editor, we can add a new action. So now we can search for Gemini and we can try to generate some text from our prompt that we will, that the user will get to ask the AI. So as you can see under text prompt over here, we can give it a value. So we'll just give it the value of the widget state and we want to give it the value of the text field the prompt or question that the user wants to ask the AI and we'll put inside the text field so you can just click on that and we can just give it an action output variable name of result all right so that's basically it we can close the action flow editor and now we can we want to show the result that the AI has given us. So we can just go on this text and we will change the text to our action output and we want to change it to the result that the AI gives to us. We can just give a default variable of no result if there's no result given. We can click on confirm and yes, that's it. It's that simple now to implement AI and AI chatbot into our Flutterflow apps. So now we can try testing it out with our test mode. And I will see you back when the test mode has loaded up. All right, so the test mode has just loaded up and now we can ask the AI something that we want to ask. So let's just ask, what is Flutterflow? And we can ask it. And now it's loading the AI is thinking of an answer. And here we go. See, now we have an answer. Flutterflow is a low code platform that de enables developers to build blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty cool. Now we have our own AI and our own app within a matter of minutes. So yeah, that's really cool. Let's just ask another question. Who is the most famous person in the world? Oops. Let's ask the AI that. Cristiano Ronaldo. 
I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. It should be me. But whatever. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's basically it. It's super simple to implement the Gemini AI into your Flutterflow apps right now because of the new integration that the Flutterflow team has put into their software. So, yep. That's all for today's tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.